Hey everyone, welcome back to another painting tutorial. As requested by you, the viewers, here is a painting tutorial for the Necron Lord, one of the new kind of upgrades for the Necron army. As with all my Necrons, I began by priming the model black. I intentionally did not glue the hand with the staff onto the body just to keep it easier to paint. I base coated the model with a one to one mix of bolt gun metal to chaos black. I then gave the entire model a black brown wash consisting of a one to one mix of Bada Black and Devlin Mud. This wash will get in the crevices of all the metallic parts and really bring out the detail which we'll later dry brush over. After the wash had dried, I gave the entire model a dry brush with chainmail paint. And then I gave the model one more highlight with Mithril Silver. I began as cape with a two to one mix of chainmail to red gore. This will act as a really dark red foundation which will bring it down to maroon later with washes. Therefore, the next step was to give these areas a really heavy wash uh, using the same black-brown wash consisting of a 50-50 uh, Bada Black and Devlin Mud. And finally, I just did a little bit of edge highlighting along the cape, um, just along the outer edges of each strand with the same mix of red gore to chainmail paint. I started on the orb and the wiring on the model with Goblin Green. I then painted up a gradient in all these areas using interesting patterns. First with a 50-50 mix of Goblin Green and Scorpion Green, and then Scorpion Green, and all the way to Sunburst Yellow. As these orbs are green and not yellow, obviously, the next thing I did was give them all a watered down Thraka Green Wash, which will tie all the greens together and bring down the yellow to make them actually a very light green. I painted the area around the symbol on his chest with uh, Chaos Black. And finally, I painted all the gold areas Dwarf Bronze, which will act as the foundation color for all these gold areas. As the color GW metallic paints go on very thin, the goal is to go a little bit layer by layer and build up to a very light gold color. To provide some shading and a little bit of detail, I once again washed all these areas with a black-brown wash, the same mix that I used earlier. And then I did two consecutive highlights, first with shining gold and then with burnished gold. Uh, with each highlight I tried to focus more on the edges just to bring out the natural shine in all the gold areas. I base coated the crystals Orchide Shade just to get them a really dark uh, green color and then I did a quick edge highlight using Scorpion Green. Just going over the edges just to bring out the, uh, the quick details. And finally I finished the staff by putting in the green rod that came with the model and just touching up the silver areas as you can see in the bottom of the picture. And that's it, you now know how I painted up my Lord for my Necron Army. Overall, I have to say that I liked painting the model. It didn't take very long. Um, I just did a, a very a relatively quick job. Um, as you can see, there's not a lot of detail on these Necron models, so I just kept it relatively simple. As you can see in this picture, there is a slight bend in the staff. However, um, when I first got the model, it had a huge bend in it, and I was actually relatively uh, able to straighten it out to a good extent. And basically my goal for this model was just to keep consistent with the previous color scheme of my other tutorials. And that's it.
So as always, thank you very much all you people out there for watching and subscribing to my videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to subscribe to my videos and leave comments below. Also, you can follow my blog at paintingwithj.blogspot.com for more weekly updates, and tutorials, and reviews, as well as a list of all my upcoming painting tutorials. So until next time, this is Mini Wargamer J saying, Happy painting, everyone. Uh, using Blood Red and Enchanted Blue, as well as painting the eyes uh, Blood Red as well. Anybody who collects uh, snake bites know that they really love 